I want to talk about some stupid stuff that I've done. I want to share three mistakes I made when I launched my very first online course all the way back in 2010. So I'm going to break down the three big mistakes. In doing so, hopefully steer you to a little more clarity when you're launching your first course or your next course. So I don't know where you are in your journey. I don't know if you're really at the beginning. You know, you might have been doing the online business thing part-time, full-time for a while, and maybe you're new to me and my method and the way I like to teach and maybe you're lurking and maybe you're trying to figure out a way to make more revenue. You know, I've done launches that, uh, as I'll share today, made a couple hundred bucks and I've done launches that have made a couple hundred thousand dollars. I've done a lot of things better <laughs> in recent years, but I had no clue, no clue what I was doing when I started. And that's why I wanted to do this episode. So this will be really, really helpful for you if you're thinking about launching an online course for the first or millionth time and you want to do it better. This is what I've been doing for a decade. And so what I want to do is help you even further. I want to give you a step-by-step -step checklist and a plan for building a course that can do six figures or more, which is not hard to do over time, but I want you to build a winner, something that's a perennial favorite that's just going to continue to sell and put money in your pocket. So I've put together what I call the six-figure online course checklist. And this checklist is a simple PDF you can download right now and, and read. And I walk through four steps to building a course that does six or seven figures for you. It's so easy. It's so chock full of good stuff. And what it does is simplify all the stuff you could possibly learn about building online courses and just put it into a streamlined, do this, do this. Have you done this? Have you considered this checklist format? I want to give it to you absolutely free to download it, to download it. Excuse me. Just go to sixfigurecourse.com. So that's the number six, sixfigurecourse.com. Download it, read it. And then when you're ready to build your next course, reread it and you're ready to build your next course, reread it. It'll just be a reference for you once you've launched a successful course and your courses will hit six figures over time. And this six figure online course checklist will help you do it. So again, it's my gift to you for listening, for hanging out with me. And I think it's going to help you out again. It's free at six figure course. It's the number six, sixfigurecourse.com. Let me give you some tips on how to launch more strategically. I want to give you three things. There's a lot of things that go into launching well. I talk about all of this in my course, Automatic Income Academy, in, at length, okay? But if you had to boil it down into three bullets of what you need to do to launch way more strategically than Graham of circa 2010, here's the three things you need to do. One is you need pre-launch buildup. I had no buildup. All I did was secretly build this course, and then all of a sudden one day I email my list, hey, here's a course, it's for sale, okay? That's fine technically because now they know about it, but think about if movie theaters and movie studios did this. Think about if you had no idea that the new Avengers movie was coming out or when it was coming out or that it was even being made. And all of a sudden, it just showed, there's a billboard that shows up, Avengers Endgame is in theaters right now. You'd be like, what? Is, did you hear that? Avengers Endgame is out? Is it really? Like, nobody would be there in the theater that first day or that first weekend because they didn't know about it. They weren't excited about it. So much of helping a movie like Avengers or Star Wars or any movie, any movie, so much of getting people to the box office is hype. What do they do? They launch movie trailers well in advance, sometimes a year in advance with a teaser trailer right? To get people excited. Oh, it's coming out in December, right? Like there's so much anticipation with trailers, uh, with promotions on food products at the grocery store. All the actors and actresses are doing the late night talk show circuits, right? They're being interviewed in magazines. It's all pre-launch hype and buildup. And you need to do the same thing for your products. You need to start to tease out to your list and to your audience that you're working on this specific thing and it's coming out soon. It's going to be amazing. And you start to tease out some of the content. You start to tell people why they should be excited about this thing when it comes out. You should tease out some of the benefits it's going to offer them when they purchase it. So in a way, you're kind of starting to drip out your sales copy weeks in advance. I think the longest I've done pre-launch buildup is a month in advance for a course. Um, but I didn't do any of that the first time. So hint that something is awesome and it's coming uh, and you can get really specific. You can even tell them what it is and when it's coming. Launch buildup is huge. Number two, when you launch, don't do what I did in 2010, where I just sent one or two emails and I was like, here you go. You want a launch week. It can be four or five days. It could be seven, eight, nine, 10 days. But typically I like a five day window, five to seven days. But in a five day window, like if you launched opened on a, on a Monday um, and you're launching all week long, uh, you want five emails minimum, one each day at the launch minimum. Uh, this is where a lot of people go wrong. They, they don't 
want to bug their list, which when they say that, that bugs me. I'm like, why else have a list if you're not going to sell to them? That's the whole point of a list. You're not bugging them. You're telling them about some amazing life changing thing that's going to make their life better. That's not bugging them. If it bugs them, it's your it's your duty to let everybody know that your thing's coming out. Just like it's the movie studio's duty. It's like Marvel Studios or Disney or Paramount Pictures or whoever's putting out a movie is their diligence and their duty to put out every piece of information they can to every audience they can that their movie's coming out. Otherwise, how can they expect to, to make records at the box office or make their shareholders happy or make enough money to pay off all the expenses of the movie? They spend $200 million on a movie. They need to make at least $200 million back plus all the marketing spend. So it's their job. They're in business to let everybody know. It's the same thing with you. So when you launch five emails minimum, you need to talk to your list every single day during launch week. And then number three um, for launching strategically is you need some sort of scarcity element. I've talked about this before on my YouTube channel, um, but whether you're closing the course, so this is their only chance to join, it's gonna close on Friday or close on Monday or whenever you close it, um, or the price is gonna go up after this launch week. So if you want it at this price, it's gonna double or it's gonna go up by 50%. You might as well get it now. Or there's a bonus, a, an amazing, irresistible bonus that you're offering during launch week that if you buy during launch week, you get this bonus. If you wait till next week, you don't get the bonus. So you might as well buy now. You need some element of scarcity or urgency, depending on how you use the word, to convince them if they're on the fence and like, oh, this looks awesome. Most people, they're just gonna come back and check it out later which means they're never gonna buy it. Even if they intend to, they're gonna get busy and distracted. So it's your job to give them a reason to buy now. And I didn't do that at all with my first course. I just sent out an email or two, no launch buildup. And it was like, it's for sale. You can get it whenever you want. Consequently, I didn't sell very many products or copies of that product. It wasn't until I started to add urgency, uh, have more buildup when I would relaunch this course or re-promote this course that I started to get more sales on this little initial course. So launch strategically, don't do what I did. In 2010, I just slapped some videos together, called it a product, launched it to my list of like 500 people, and maybe I made 100 bucks that week or 200 bucks, okay? Pretty pathetic, but maybe you've been there. We all start somewhere, it's okay. I made some money and that was a win for me when I had no money and I was on food stamps. And it, what it did was it was proof of concept for me that, hey, I can make content for free, build an email list, and then film a course that goes more in depth and has more value and sell it to that list. Now, how can I do this better? And that's what I've been on a, a mission to do for the last decade is do that, but better and to more people. And now I do it in two different brands and two different niches with two different businesses. So the three mistakes I made was I didn't research at all. I just built what I wanted to build. That's classic entrepreneur mistake. It can sometimes work out for you, but I'd rather validate that idea, make sure that I'm I'm correct in my thinking. So I did no research. I want you to do research. And I would start with your free content. Do the 20, find the 20% of your free content that's just got 80% of the love and the reviews and the comments and the feedback and the shares. Then you'll kind of know what kind of topics to build a course on and the research deeper from there. Number two, I didn't launch strategically. I just put out the videos, sent out a couple of emails uh, and just put the sales page up and it was open forever. You got to do a lot more than that. You got to pre-launch build up. You got to get them hyped weeks before this thing launches, at least at least two weeks before minimum. Uh, I need to have at least an email every day of the launch. So I'm talking with them every day and just touching base with them every day, pointing them to another benefit of the product, answering their questions about the product, getting them excited because it's a big deal. And then three, have some element of scarcity in that launch, some sense of urgency. The course is closing, so you got to buy now or it's you can't buy or the price is going up after this launch week or this bonus, this amazing bonus is going away. I've used all three successfully. The one that does the most money typically is when you close the course, um, but all three will work. And then the third mistake I made was I didn't follow up with my students. I just, hey, I'm glad I got my money and I'm glad they got the course. I'm going to move on to bigger and better things. And I missed a huge opportunity to improve my product and figure out what products they wanted in the future. It took me a lot of guesswork. I just continued on this path of just building whatever I wanted. It took me a year and a half. I launched four courses in the first year and a half before I finally launched course five and six that were truly the, the winners. And uh, those courses have done over a million dollars. Um, one of them's done over a million dollars by itself. And it, you know, it just, I'm a slow learner. So don't make that mistake. I could have figured that out if I just done some follow-up research with my paid students. As always, thanks for hanging out with me. It means a ton. Thanks for the support. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for letting me know. It means a ton. I wish you the best of luck in your business this week. Got another episode coming for you next week. So stay tuned for that. As always, best of luck as you serve people, love on them, do what's best for them. And hey, it's messy. It's an ongoing process, but that's why I'm here to help you as your virtual business coach. If you need anything, give me an email, graham at grahamcochran.com. Until next time, my friend, 
Have a great week.